So basically what I have here is a system that saves each part of the map as a scene and loads it as a chunk surrounding the player. For this example, I'm just using squares that display a random color. So this video is mainly just going to be an overview video. I'll just be explaining how the code works. So the first thing that I would want to show you is the world saved script, which as you can see is a singleton. This singleton stores the data for each chunk in the map in two linked arrays. Basically what I mean by two linked arrays is just that the elements that are added into the arrays are added at the same time. Therefore, they share the exact same index. So as you can see in the add function, the chunk's coordinates is passed in and stored in the loaded coordinates array and an empty array is added into the chunk data array. Basically what that does is that it adds an empty array for a chunk with that specific chunk coordinates. That basically means that the chunk coordinates can serve as a key which is going to access the data in the chunk data array with the exact same index. As you can see in the save and retrieve functions, the coordinates are used to access the data in the chunk data array. And now for the node itself that will contain each part of the map. In this scene, we just have a color rect and a label. The color rect is used to display the color and the label is used to display the chunk coordinates. Inside the chunk node script, it has a function called start, which passes in its chunk coordinates. Then it checks if that coordinate has already been loaded before. And if it has, then it retrieves the data for that exact coordinate. And if it hasn't, then to so add that coordinates and then generate a new color. And that color is then saved into an array. And finally, we have the save function. This function basically saves data into the world save singleton and then deletes the chunk from the scene tree. Lastly, in our main world, we have the player character and the camera. And inside the world script, which is the script that handles the chunk loading, we have a chunk node preload and a reference to the player and some variables. First, we have the render distance then the chunk size, then the current chunk, which stores the chunk coordinates of the player, and the previous chunk, which stores the player's previous chunk coordinates. And now we have two arrays, one that stores the coordinates of the chunks that have been loaded, and the other that stores the chunk nodes that have been loaded. So on the ready function, we just make a reference to the player. Then we get the current chunk by using the get chunk coordinates function, and then we pass in our player's global position. This function returns the player's position in chunk coordinates. So then in our process function, we check if the previous chunk is not equal to the current chunk, which basically means that the player has moved from one chunk to another. And in that case, we then call the load chunk function. So in our load chunk function, the first thing we want to do is get our render bounds. Our render bounds is basically the size of our two-dimensional array, which is determined by our render distance using this formula. Basically what that means is that when our render distance is 1, we want to make a 3x3 three three grid. And when our render distance is 2, we want to make a 5x5 five five grid and so on. Then we'll calculate the coordinates of each chunk using this formula and then we'll offset it by the player's current chunk coordinates. And after that, we'll add it to the loading chunk array, which stores the coordinates for the chunks that are supposed to be surrounding the player. Then we'll check if the coordinates of the chunk that is about to be loaded has already been loaded. And if it hasn't, then we will load the chunk. Lastly, we check every coordinate in the coordinates that have been loaded that is not part of the coordinates that should be loaded. Then we add them to the deleting chunk array. And for each coordinate in the deleting chunk array, we call its chunk nodes save function. Then we remove its coordinates and its chunk node from the respective arrays. And that concludes the code for chunk loading. I also wrote this project in C-Sharp and the links are in the description so if you want to play around with the code or add it to your own project you can do that.